Hello and welcome to program 47 in this series of programs and tutorials that focus on TradeStation Easy Language. If you're not part of our email list or if you'd like to see more programs and tutorials, then please go to markplex.com. That's M A R K P L E X.com. So, a Gold Pass member and client of mine suggested that it would be useful for him if I were to take program 44, which is a trade station indicator that looks for ghost patterns on a chart and convert it into a strategy. So that is what I've done in this program, program 47. And uh, incidentally, if you do decide to download this program, then I'm also going to include program 44 and uh, an additional bonus video, which will explain a little bit about how I went about converting the indicator to a strategy. So anyway, the, the, the program, program 47 has got two basic options as far as getting into trades. The first one, which I've called simple, is when a pattern is formed. Uh, for example, we've got a uh, ghost pattern here. When that is formed, the next bar, we get into a short trade. And uh, that is then managed based on um, targets and trailing stops. In fact, there are two different targets and uh, you can take off a certain number of contracts uh, or shares at a particular trading trailing uh, rather target and then the rest of the next. It also includes a trailing stop. So that is the, the, uh, the simplest sort of trade. It looks for the formation of a ghost pattern. There are some filters as well and I'll discuss those in a moment but uh, provided the filter conditions are fulfilled, then it will get into a simple short trade. Now the other mode, and uh, let me just show you the inputs for a moment, is what I've termed the first one simple trade. The second one is where we're looking for a trend line break, and that is a trend line joining the two uh, pivots in the pattern. So you can see here in this ghost pattern, we've got a low pivot here and a low pivot here, and they form a trend line there. And then when that trend line is broken, we would get into a short trade. Now you'll notice in this particular case that you can see that even though the trend line has clearly been broken, there is no trade. And the reason for that is because, as I mentioned, we also have some CCI filters built into the program. So what we could do just to make sure we do get a trade there, is we could just adjust the filter. At the moment, I've got it set at 50. We could make it a very low number. In other words, the CCI has to be greater than this in the case for short sale to go short the next bar. And uh, you'll see now that we've got the, uh, the trend line break trade right there. So let me go through some of the other inputs just to show you some of the options here. And uh, first one I've already spoken about simple trade you've got an option of two different trades one is the completion of a ghost pattern the other is a trend line break within the ghost pattern uh, which CCI you've got a choice of four CCI's you've got the uh, the standard CCI fast CCI a smooth standard and a smooth fast and uh, because this is a uh, number you can also optimize that CCI length fairly self-explanatory as is fast length and smooth length and uh, fast smooth length all of those can be optimized of course left strength and right strength we're looking for pivots in this program and this simply means that left strength means that to the left of a particular bar there are uh, three higher or lower depending on high or low pivots so for example for a high pivot three means that you've got to have three lower values to the left of that pivot and right means we've got to have one lower one to the right if it was a low pivot left strength would mean we'd have to have three higher bars or values to the left of the pivot and one higher to the right number of contracts this is the number of contracts or shares that we are buying or selling at any one instance trail value this is expressed as a number of ticks and uh, this begins trailing immediately. In addition, target one, target two. Uh, target one is the first target where first TGT CTS contracts are taken off. So in this case, um, 
first TGT CTS is equal to the number of CTS or contracts. So that is taken all taken off at target one. But you could equally make it so that some were taken off target one, some target two. And then you finally got the, uh, the high filter and the low filter. And these uh, make sure that you only get into trades, for example, short trades if the CCI that you've chosen is greater than uh, that value and CCI low filter will only get into long trades if the CCI is less than this value. So they're the, the inputs. What I also want to show you is just a little part of the program because I've also included some filters that you can modify yourself. So let me just open up the TradeStation development environment. And you'll notice that the uh, the program is commented throughout. But what I've done here is just given uh, a little example of how, for example, you could set up a long filter based on stochastic, just as I've done in some other programs previously. And uh, if you wanted to use that, you would just need to uncomment it by removing that curly bracket, that curly bracket, and then this commenting out here. And then you would need to uh, comment the long filter. So just to give you an example, if we wanted to use that filter, uh, the stochastic filter, then I would just remove this comments. I would comment out this first statement here, which is setting the long filter is true. And uh, I would remove this commenting here. And I would add, ch convert that into a comment. And then having done that, you would need to click the little verify tick here or press F3. I've also included some debug uh, functionality in the program and this is not normally available. What I've done is just put a little uh, input in the variables and if that were set to true then you will see some additional uh, printing on the chart if you set the scale correctly so you can see the CCI even though this is a strategy. And then finally just to go back to the chart I just want to show you briefly how you would go about doing some sort of optimization. So um, in this case, you would go format strategies and then depending on what you wanted to optimize. So for example, we could say, well, I want to try both sorts of trade. So I'm going to make that one or two. So that'd be one, two with an increment of one. Uh, which CCI, as I mentioned, this could be one of four. So that's already set up perfectly. We could adjust the uh, CCI length, etc. We could also modify, for example, the trail value like so. You can say yes there and say OK. And then having done that, uh, we could choose exhaustive to go through all the different combinations, which would be uh, which makes sense in this case. And uh, then just go ahead and click optimize. OK, well, I hopefully you will find this program useful. And uh, as I mentioned, I am going to include an additional bonus video about how I converted program 44, which I think uh, you might find useful. And uh, in addition, I'm going to include program 44 itself. So thank you.